Okay, so today I will be sharing with you this dress that I made. So, it is black and white striped, and then it's got a little floral print in it. And you know what? In fact, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, so let me talk about this pattern. This is an older pattern. I have had it for a while, but never made it. So this is Simplicity 3744. I made view D, and I purchased this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It is a thin fabric. It feels kind of like a lining, but it is a cotton blend. I think it's like a polyester and cotton blended together, if I can remember right. Now, this pattern is very busy. I didn't realize it had so much going on until I finally decided to open it up and, and sew it up. So, there is a zipper in the back. There are darts and pleats in the bodice area. The bodice is fully lined and it's also lined in the sleeve area. There are gathers and then there is a vent in the back of the skirt. So like a little split at the bottom hem yeah so that is a lot that's a lot going on um the only changes that i made were to do a little under stitching around the neck area and around the sleeve area because the pattern didn't say to do that but i just decided to go ahead and put those features in there and then um i released one of the pleats because there were two pleats in the skirt area but i just took one of them out because it was fitting a little bit tight on me the other change was this pattern called for a lapped zipper but instead i put an invisible zipper in the back yeah so those are the only changes that i made i really like the dress i like the outcome and i will go ahead and show you what this looks like with me moving around in the dress So that is my dress. That's the only sewing make that I have to share in this video. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So have you ever been out shopping and you have your shopping cart and you're pushing it to your car and all of a sudden you come across these little bumps in the road that kind of bring your cart to a halt. And this is what those little bumps look like in the road. Well, I found out that those bumps are referred to as tactile paving. And what they are for is to help the visually impaired detect when they are about to transition from a safe path of travel into a potentially dangerous vehicular streetway or a sudden change in the walking surface elevation. So you can see these little bumps in the road in places like rail stations or train stations, shopping centers, grocery stores, stairways, and street crossings, just to name a few of the places. Yeah, and I know I've come across these little bumps several times, but I just never realized what they were for. So yes, I wanted to share that with you. And thank you so very much for watching and I will be back next time. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.